So it occurred to me yesterday that roughly a year ago, I took the examination to become a certified diabetes educator. In honor of that, I wanna teach you an algorithm that I learned while studying. Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and a certified diabetes educator. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. So it occurred to me yesterday that roughly a year ago, I took the examination to become a certified diabetes educator. In honor of that, I wanna teach you an algorithm that I learned while studying. And this algorithm is called the 1500 rule. So if you're a dietitian, that works with individuals that have diabetes or if you are someone that has diabetes yourself or if you want to know what this algorithm is this video is for you so as I stated earlier the algorithm that I want to teach you today is the 1500 rule and it provides a dose variation of insulin from your usual insulin dose so technically it is a supplemental dose and this dose is primarily used for individuals that have type 1 diabetes but it can be used for individuals that also have type 2 diabetes as well so with the 1500 rule it only applies for the use of regular insulin so basically the 1500 rule states that you take the number 1500 and you divide it by the current total daily insulin dose and this equals your sensitivity factor a sensitivity factor defines how much a unit of insulin will lower the blood glucose then you take the sensitivity factor to determine how much supplemental dose is needed if one's blood sugar exceeds the target goals this is done by taking the actual blood sugar and you subtract it from the blood sugar goal and then you divide it by the sensitivity factor Seeing that I'm a very visual person when it comes to learning, I want to give you guys an example. Hypothetically speaking, let's say we have a client and they take 25 units of regular insulin for the day. Their blood sugar two hours after eating is 234 milligrams per deciliters. And the goal is for their blood sugar to be 165. Using the 1500 rule, find the sensitivity factor and the supplement dose of insulin needed to correct this elevated blood sugar sugar level. So you take this 1500 and you divide it by 25, which equals 60. This is the sensitivity factor. So this means that one unit of regular insulin will lower the blood sugar by 60 milligrams per deciliter. Next, to find the supplement dose, you take the blood sugar, the elevated blood sugar of 234, and you subtract it from the goal of 165. This equals 69 milligrams per deciliter. So then you take the 60 and you want to divide it by the sensitivity factor and when you do so you get roughly one unit of course I'm rounding one additional unit of insulin is needed to further bring down this blood sugar so there's the 1800 rule as well so the 1800 rule acts in the same corrective manner this is the 1500 rule or the algorithm that I wanted to teach you today if you have any questions please go ahead and leave it in the comment section below thanks for watching have a good day